Hello Castle Class, Judy Destagio here, coming to you with a video that kind of goes in a lot of different places, starting with doing some Boss 2, Dirty's got Boss 2 down, we got the Godfishy base, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, why you should guild up. Anyways, I'm not too good at Boss 2, I'm normally in like top 5 of my guild, but we got some heavy hitters now, especially as of late. Our last recruitment, boom, here we got couple heavy hitters in addition to Lion Trader who's been in our guild a while as a heavy hitter and doing great helping us out helping us get boss 2 down we do boss 1 in like 5 minutes now so we don't we only do him and if someone wins a guild reward or a guild challenge or donates the most shards or you know, we give them some solo time on boss 1 or boss 2 their choice so we occasionally do boss 1 real quick but yeah, we're normally focusing on boss 2 now because we do a couple heavy hitters. In fact, one of our heavy hitters just recently joined the guild, Tam. He, uh, on this boss fight, did like 25 plus million damage. It was insane. We're going to show some videos of him doing the boss fight. He doesn't have a rooted phone, doesn't want to root, and doesn't run blue stacks, so he's going to record it. It's going to be dirty footage, but hey, I'm Dirty Destagio, man! You got to love what I give you. You're going to love it because it's awesome. He also has a new base design to uh, farm up. Farm Wave F and probably G2. So, anyway, so yeah, I don't know. I don't have a very good pattern. These are the here. So I drop Atlantic Core and then I drop all the rest and I'm waiting for the stun. I can't get a stun train. I also, instead of Succubus, sometimes I use Thunder God and I get the Thunder God in there with Revite 3 and get that quick stun off, but I can't get it synced up with Champion. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And uh, I only showed you a couple quick attacks, but there you can see it there, 26 million damage by Tam. Lion Trader did great too. D-Mast, ooh ha ha, God Fuzzy, myself, number 5, Kevin 15, Darkening, and then Jab. So yeah, we took that boss down. I think tonight was our fastest ever. And I think it was about 14 minutes or so. 13 minutes. I, I don't know what I was doing. but Okay, so I farm F, right? And pretty much any base I make beats F now. So I just decided... I took my son ice fishing yesterday. Now this is a true story. It's for Cub Scouts. There was an ice fishing contest sponsored by a really cool company and gave away like $2,000 worth of ice fishing gear to these young cub scouts which was really awesome and anyways while we were fishing we didn't catch any fish so anyways I was building a base and my son was watching me and he's like dad make a make a fish base I'm like no wait hmm that's not a bad idea why the hell not so I made this base I call it god fishy and uh, it's uh, essentially a uh, it's sort of like that double diamond design that a lot of folks are using, which is a great base, by the way. I, I wish I knew who came up with it. I don't know. Probably Ranji, right? Anyways, and uh, no, I just decided to put all my vaults in there, too, just so like when people try to raid me, they fail miserably, which is always comedic in a, in a way. I don't know. I'm just, I got this thing for, I don't like losing gold to raiders, even though I realize that it doesn't matter and I can get like infinite gold and mana, but still, it's just the thought behind, I'm a winner. People in Guild Dirty are winners. We don't like losing ever. So a lot of our bases aren't pure here be monsters. They have some defensive capabilities and this one does. So this one does beat F, but I mean, I got pretty close and I had some pathing problems where people were jumping out and I... I fixed that problem. I'll, I'll show you this against Wave G, but I can't get it to beat Wave G, so... But I'm going to show you the video anyways, because, hey, why not? And hey, guilds are good. This is why you should guild up. I'm going to take you on a couple minutes here just through why you should make the decision to join a guild. Like, dirty any guild. Now, dirty, uh, we're getting full. Like, we always have a huge queue of people. I think we have, like, six people in the queue right now. But you can see, yeah, look at this boss too. We did really, really good. I just, we, Tam here, he's just got a system down. He uses the same five heroes as me. But he just has a way, it's all timing. How he times it, how he drops Atlantic Core, Druid, Pumpkin Duke in. And then drops in Thunder God for the stun and champion. I believe that's the order. He can post here and comment if it's a little different, but... That's the essential order, and he can just get, I think it's 
two million, one to two million damage per cycle. And so he's going to show us all through my YouTube channel here how he does that in the next couple days here. Hopefully tomorrow, boss fight tomorrow. So we'll see. And no, it's it's great to be in a guild because that is how you do boss fights. Now you can also get these flags, but they're pretty useless. We did research riches too, just because we had a guild competition where I called it the internal dirty games, where we were created two teams that end up against each other, and you screenshot how much gold you raided, and winning team got prizes, Google Play card, solo boss time and just other random prizes that we come up with along the way. They're also the uh, dirty champions and have that title until someone can dethrone them in the next dirty games, internal dirty games. And you can see some of our guild here. So yeah, we're unlocked. We're guild 5 right now. She's working on guild 6, but it's like 25,000 shards away. So we're going to make that push eventually. But for right now, we're just going to let some of our new members get situated and just gonna keep focusing our shards on our hero talents. You can see Lion Trader, Maid Soldier there, he's got over 3,000 shards, well easily got over 4,700 and Genesis of Z, Fico, ooh ha ha, Kevin, just 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 Coma White, new member there, like Coma White. Who's Coma White? I was just looking at that, I'm like, hey, who is that? When have we had this? So Coma White, you're out there, I know somewhere and uh, he's rocking the looks like the god fuzzy 2 point that's going to be the 2.1 base right there that's a pretty good base and Kevin 15 number 7 on the shard donations list he's just running looks like a like a Leary 93 standard that's the Kaixa de Morta or whatever <laughs> I'm sorry I don't know what that means I'm a dumb American, okay? We were just talking about that in guild chat, how Americans like don't even care about other languages because they assume everyone speaks theirs. Fico, Alex. D, now Fico. He's got a YouTube channel. i got to give that channel uh, some publicity at some point, so I'll do that later. Darkening here. And you can see that this is a... What is this? This is kind of cool. A three-deep wall all around God fuzzy-ish design. The heroes aren't in a straight line. However, they're pre it's pretty close. That's pretty interesting. I wonder how that works. That's kind of a cool design, I must say. Sub-Z. Sub-Z. Is it Sub-Z or Subs? I don't know. Here's a quarter base design. I kind of like this. I've seen a couple of these as I was raiding. And uh, I probably want to try that out at some point, but... I just don't like when you get two corner pops in a row. That just can hurt you pretty bad when you're going up against F and G. Here's Lion Trader, number one uh, shard donator in Dirty. He's farming Dungeon 8. Working in the mines, as Sen7 would say. And it looks like he's working here a uh, Leary 93 design, which is a great base. Oh, it looks like I just I zoomed in on that fifth tower there. It looks like he must have got Town Hall 17 recently. And working on getting that tower up. So Lion Trader sent in this video to the Dirty Box, which is uh, a shared box that we have for all guild members. They can uh, put videos in that box, and if anything's pretty cool, I'll toss her in a video. This is the first time I've done that, but anyways, this is an awesome video, and I saw him post this in line. I needed it. It's essentially his whole team got wiped by these 100-plus, well over 100 heroes, but he has the lady with the whip going at it there. Succubus, look at this. He should lose this, right? Shouldn't he lose this? He should lose this. He's gonna lose this. What? That last snap of that whip. Wow, that was just a crazy video, totally showcasing the power of uh, Succubus perfectly. So awesome video, Lion Trader. Thank you for sharing. And so, yeah, I think that's awesome. I mean, if you're interested in joining Guild Dirty, it is uh, 12,000 might minimum. And, unfortunately, we only have one slot available. You saw two slots available just a second ago. However, one of those is being held for someone that's uh, from the guild joining tomorrow. And uh, so we do have one slot open. 
Now here's the funny thing. We're going to do something crazy. For the people that made it this far in the video, if you apply to Guild Dirty, we are going to do a line group interview chat, <laughs> which is going to be maybe chaotic. If you're the only person to show up to line chat group, you get the slot. That's how it is. But you have to be at 12k might and you have to be in the queue. And then what I'll do is I'll friend you in the game and then I'll try to PM you in game. Or you can go into the line app and add me. It's God Fuzzy. That's my line UID if you want to add me and tell me, hey, I applied. I want to be in your interview. And we're going to do a dirty group interview. Come on now. It's all of you. All of you together are going to be interviewing. And here's the thing about Dirty. We don't really, honestly, we don't really care what your might is. Like, if you have 20k might and you applied tonight after this video, and then there's another person here watching and you have 12k might, just barely over the threshold. Well, guess what? To Dirty, you are equal. We do not care about might. We care about how cool you are because <laughs> our, our guild is a little different yeah we're I mean I'd say maybe 20% of guild dirty is like really hardcore power gamers I'd say maybe yeah one fifth and I'd say maybe two fifths is pretty casual free players and then I'd say the last two fifths are insanely chaotic beasts of burden awesome cool and dirty players so <laughs> if you fit into one of those categories we don't really care about your heroes you know i mean yeah we could use a couple heavy hitters but you know what we don't you know we're not gonna we're not gonna be like that we're not gonna be like crazy about trying to only recruit like really good play we just want fun players you know we don't really care about you know how uber you are and yeah you can see here's our castle clash dirty chat which is where our guilds go and i just want to show you tam so tam is the one that did 26 million on boss 2 and oh it's really hard to see this but you can see his hero lineup and he uses druid pumpkin duke spirit mage atlantic core thunder god on the boss fights and he's going to share with us uh, some video footage on how he does that. So please subscribe. And again, if you want to join the group interview for our last slot, because we just got Guild 5, and we have a huge queue, keep it dirty. And as always, dirty up.